Hey everyone, Carlos here with Bearable Traders, and I had two trades today, one on VLE and also one on uh, OCX. So here's a live recording actually. I started recording this to show you um, how I did not get filled on a trade. Uh, this was on short selling restriction, as you can see right up here. I did have shares for short, um, but let me let me walk you through this. So on the first trade I had here, I, uh, I went in short. I like this trade a lot. It starts dropping here. You get the pull back to uh, near VWAP or at VWAP, and then I like to get in here for the drop for the break of the law of the day. So I got in. It didn't quite crack 11.55. I was waiting for it to crack this here. Uh, it didn't quite do that. So on the way up, the minute it closed above the VWAP, my stop loss was set at this week over here. Um, I pulled out completely. Uh, then it went to this moving average and it sold off. Um, I wish I would have waited, uh, but again, I don't want to. I don't want to go past my stop loss. Although I didn't see this moving average here, this could have been a good uh, a good stop loss in case it came back down. Uh, it did reject it. I started selling off. The next candle, same thing. Try to get to this moving average. It couldn't. Uh, then here I sent another order in. At this time, actually, this is the live recording. At uh, this time to get filled. It is on short selling restriction, and I did not get filled here. So um, again, it's just you can see it starts dropping here. But um, again, and I thought I had the fear of missing out here because it looked like it was going to break this 11.55. You see the momentum coming in. You see the ask over here. So it looks good for you got all the signals for a possible short. Uh, but then it actually never breaks 11.55. And I thought about chasing it around this area here, especially when you see it going down like this. This is when you get the, the fear of missing out. And you really want to get in here and chase it. I'm glad I didn't because then I would have had a very, very bad entry here. And I would have been stopped out again because if you look at this chart later on, it never breaks the 11.55 and it actually bounces back all the way up to uh, 11.75. Uh, so that was that trade there. My next trade was on OCX. And let's talk about OCX. I had a really uh, bad situation on OCX that turned out good, but this could have been a very ugly trade. So I started with the recording right at this area here. And what I want to show you is, let me let me hit play on here. Um, this is, um, and I'm going to fast forward this because uh, I'll hold it through the entire halt. So as I'm looking at another ticker on my chart, I by mistake get into this trade heavy. I will never trade this stock, um, not after doing a move like this. It's too extended. It is a low flow. So, um, you know, you could expect a pullback here, a very hard pullback. And again, I will never trade it with the amount of shares I took for this for this trade. Um, also, it is a, it's an American exchange. Um, so I don't, I don't usually trade stock in this exchange because I just don't, I'm not familiar with their movements. So I don't want to be in a situation where I don't have an edge or a good, a good, uh, a good, uh, a good, a good, a good control of the situation, and this was definitely not it. Um, so what I do is I, I have a chart that I'm looking at, and when I hit to get into that chart, it automatically got me into this trade because the montage had OCX instead of the chart that I wanted to get in on for long. Um, so I'm looking at this chart that I want to get in on, and I'm waiting for the triangle to show up. As you know, when you hit the triangle, it takes a little bit for it to show up, uh, but once it shows up, that means you're filled. And so I look over at my order, and I see, okay, I do have an order here, but it's not showing filled on my chart. So in the process of figuring that out, I got in around nine, I want to say, no, I'm sorry, nine, yeah, 944 or so. That's when I got in, 944, 944.53 actually. Um, the hold happens several seconds later after the next candle opens. By the time I go back to look at why is my order still not showing a triangle, I notice that I am in the wrong ticker. I quickly move over to OCX. By the time I move over to OCX and I figure out what is going on, this thing is on its way up and it halts. Now, this were the longest five minutes of my life. I mean, I'm in here, I'm heavier than I, what I want it to be. I am also aware that these stocks, when they tend to halt, again, it can go, it can open up down here. It can open up way below at $4, and that would have been a huge loss for me. So again, these errors, this, this is a hockey error that I'm not happy about. I got to make sure, you know, I get better with these hockey errors and make sure I'm getting into the right stocks. But we've seen situations where this one fortunately works out, um, but there's been situations where it doesn't work out and you end up losing, you know, quite a bit of money if this thing drops over here. Um, so again, so an unfortunate situation. I'm not happy about the hockey error. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that it actually worked out and I did not lose any money. But again, um, this is a 50-50 chance here and it can go either way. So as you can see here, I'm going to forward to where it opens up. All right, so here at the open, uh, it's getting ready to open now. Right at the open, I have my hotkeys ready. I'm sitting on uh, on uh, on my hotkeys to sell everything and also to sell half in case it goes up. So I, I'm studying this chart here. I know that it can gap up. I know that it can also gap down, right? Usually when a stock is on halt on the way up, it usually gaps up a little bit. So I'm ready to take you know advantage of the situation that I'm in now. If it gaps up, I'm going to take partial, uh, partial out, and then I'm going to take everything out on the way back down. Uh, and that's exactly how this played out here. But I was also mentally ready 
that this could open up at 457 and I would have to get out for a loss. I was not going to stick around and wait to see if it bounces back because, again, once these things drops, everybody starts selling and that's where uh, you get into trouble. So that's my trading for today, guys. An unfortunate trade on, on uh, OCX that turned out okay and also a great trade on VLE uh, by not chasing into the FOMO and getting stuck in a situation where I would have been stopped out again. Thank you all.